Stellaris, a Paradox grand strategy game, which allows you to explore the universe, discover ancient wonders, and make allies or enemies through diplomacy and war. Our six players are continuing their quest of expanding their empires, scheming for power with the ultimate goal, supremacy. So we're about 70 years into the game right now. There's a lot of stuff going on with a lot of these empires trying to fight each other. In the southeast of the galaxy, we've got the Galactic Dominion and the Penguins fighting each other for dominance, who's going to be each other's vassal. In the north, we've got the robots and the Techno Babel Empire trying to figure out who is who and if they are each other's friends or not. And then in the west, we got the squids and the geckos trying to increase their bonds a little bit and fight off the marauders. We'll see how it goes. They've, uh, they've started off nicely, let's put it that way. Alex and Jay have a non-aggression pact from when they made first contact, which means they can't go to war just yet. Jay, however, is ready to declare war as soon as the pact ends. And while Alex is unaware of Jay's plans, he doesn't trust him and prepares his fleets for any sudden surprises. Foreign Empire claims our system. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, okay, yep, definitely preparing a defense. Okay, let's start building a fleet. We need a, a cruiser. If, we are, if I have a cruiser, maybe I can um, start a war, which will be fun. Building and maintaining your fleet is a necessity to survive in the cold, dark universe. You can create, update, and design your fleet in the ship designer to make sure you're prepared to meet any threats that the universe decides to throw at you, as well as looking badass in the process. Have a quick look at our ship designer, because we have the Drifting Crab Destroyer, which I think looks kind of neat, but I think we might want to go for a better mix here. So we could go for the Gunship Stern, which, well, actually, maybe this one, and then maybe we do put a couple of small coil guns back there. Nah. Let's go for the gunship stern with the coil gun. Just there. Nice size of a coil gun. Then here, we're going to want the... Do we want reactor for more power? We don't need more power. I think we'll go afterburners. And that seems like it'll do a pretty good job. We've got a uh, cold fusion reactor in there. Standard hyperdrive. I think it looks pretty neat. I think that'll do the job. So that could be the drift crab. I think we'll just say auto upgrade that. It's all good. Actually, I was going to look at the cruiser stats, actually. We've got large X-ray lasers with 78 to 210 damage. And two medium plasma accelerators. Yeah, I, I lucked out with that. That's pretty darn good. While the Techno Babel Empire is repairing his fleets from the fight with the Leviathan, he happens to stumble over something ancient and extremely dangerous. Oh, who is this? No, they're, they're big beefy boys. That is a fallen empire, and I'm staying the hell away from those ox faces. Fallen empires are large, ancient, and extremely powerful AI empires. Compared to normal empires, a fallen empire is fully developed at the start of the game. But due to their large and powerful fleets, you should use extreme caution. They should not be provoked until your fleet strength and technology are at least comparable. Right next to my border. If they end up just deciding I am doing the wrong thing in the galaxy, then they're going to start spreading or sending their fleets in. And I can't stop them. I might need Marbazir for this one. I, I, I don't trust him, and I'm fairly certain he doesn't trust me, so we might have to we might have to grow past this. I'm so screwed if my wazir decides he doesn't like me. And the same thing with these gigantic butt faces. They're so powerful, overwhelming. And that's not gonna change anytime soon. It's time to show those pathetic spiritualist how war is done. 
Let's Star system charted. Go. We have declared war to safeguard. Hello, Alex. Oh no. <laughs> um. So Jay's declared war. Uh, my fleet is in the vicinity to try and hold the black hole. Oh no. Okay. Well, let's build a few more. <laughs> Let's get a few Corvette. I can only afford one Corvette. Where is he going to send his fleet, I wonder? I am... I am not ready. So I have 1.5k military power and the di diplomatic screen tells me that he has an inferior fleet club power, so... It seems I'm... I'm the... I have the upper hand, but we'll see how it will uh, unfold. Um, yes, let's get the combat launch going. Heretic fleet detected. What? Where is he? Inv oh, he's invaded up there, the git. Okay, uh, let's send my fleet up there. Not that it can do much. Oh, it's 200. He's just scouting. Wait, that can't be his whole fleet. Oh, wait, no, it's just behind a 1.5k fleet. Oh, dear. Um, we might take down a few ships. And if my fleet can get there in time, it's not going to get there in time, is it? Nope. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, my star base is getting wrecked. I had it positioned at the wrong star base. Took a gamble. Hasn't paid off. He's losing a lot of ships, though. Oh, my fleet seems to be suffering. I'm not sure I'm going to win this. But I have some minerals. Yes. Yes, that's that sounds good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I have more power. Yes. Okay, where is my fleet? Oh my god, it's so far away. So far away. Uh, I I think I can take his uh, big, his main defensive station that, that will unlock the rest of his territory for me. So this, this is the big battle. I need to win, but... Oh, what, what happened? Did he reinforce his... Star system I think I'm in a bad spot. Coming. Let's get back to a star port. Us new wisdom. That's great. That's great for new wisdom, but what about my... Oh, hold on. I'm winning. I'm actually winning. He's losing everything. Did he, did he bug out? He bugged out. Oh, coward. So I engage his uh, defensive station that was slightly more powerful than my fleet. So I wrecked completely the defensive platform, but the main station was able to um, hurt me more than I hurt it. So I had to get back. But 90% of my fleet is still up and running, and I had time to rebuild the free corvette that has been destroyed. So in a few months, I can go back, and I think he will not have the time to rebuild his defenses. So maybe this time it will be better. What the hell? How do we find out about that? Oh, the Curator Order, that's where they're located. Oh, cool. Surveying star systems and celestial bodies allow players to find anomalies. Anomalies require further investigation by the scientist on board your science vessel. Anomaly found. When your investigation is complete, it can trigger events that give various bonuses, such as research points or resources. Another way of getting benefits in the game is choosing traditions. These traditions will help define your empire by giving different bonuses or abilities. As with traditions, we need to adopt a new one. The domination could give us something interesting. Capital buildings get more unity. Lifespan by 20 years. Survey speed increased. Tempting. Research alternatives increased. Habitability increased. We can form a federal diplomacy. No, actually, maybe supremacy. Shipyard build speed and ship upgrade costs reduced. Let's do that. 
So. Survey complete. System survey complete, and the fleet is repaired. Oh, we can get a new tradition as well. And actually, I've been pondering which one of these I want to go for. We finished all of Discovery. Uh, I just want to be space friends with everyone, but uh, capacity by going for supremacy, because that increases star base capacity by two, and also reduces the up upgrade cost by 20%. And we're going to be doing that in supremacy. We go, spend all that unity. Goody. That is going to be such a good system. Oh yeah, that's the prime one. Let's do that one first, survey. Here it is, the Voltanum homeworld. And now we can grab our next tradition. There we go. Look at this. That's so good. That's so amazing. We want that ASAP. Construction complete. We are one tradition away from the supremacy finisher and from our second ascension break. When a player has finished all abilities in a tradition tree, it will unlock the so-called Ascension perk. The Ascension perk can give the player powerful benefits in the game, such as the ability to build or repair megastructures, like gaming FTL's Sentry Array or a Dyson Sphere. Okay, let's try this again. Back to Jay and Alex's war, and it's time for payback. Nice. Go, 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 go. Now we'll get, oh, naval capacity plus 30%. Ugh. Okay, I can't hold off that with my current, my god. Yes, that's better. Oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna lose that. Oh dear. This isn't even a war, it's just a slaughter. I can't do anything. I've got nothing. Oh. Come on, take it. Yes. Okay, so my fleet is 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 not non-existent. It's non-existent. I really need to have peace. Meanwhile, the Techno Babble Empire and Totally Not Robots are currently locked in a defensive pact, which means they cannot attack each other. However, since Techno Babble betrayed Totally Not Robots in the fight with the Leviathan, the mistrust grows. So I prepared my defenses after making a deal with my neighbor, but now I won't be as trusting or willing to cooperate anymore. I am tired of being terrified by Marbazir's totally not robots. But I can't declare war yet, so I have some new friends who, in exchange for money, will attack these peeps with their big fleet. I'm gonna go do that now. Look, it's a marauding empire. We might know of a good raging target for you. The totally no, not robots, they, they have a Thing just yeah you know uh, that's only oh pricey three thousand energy credits uh, yeah sure what I don't even know how big their fleet is but whatever that'll give him something to think about uh, and now we wait while their fleet arrives and the timer ticks down until I send my own fleet in what's going on incoming Gorothy raid oh okay. Didn't see that one coming. Okay. Where exactly is that? Oh, yeah, right here. I don't think I'll get there in time because I'm still like three jumps away. Uh, where is our main fleet right now? No, I can't get there. We're too far away. Let's just stay in main facility. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, this is going to be too late for sure. I'm not really going to defend it because my fleet is too weak, so I decided to go for a tactical retreat and strengthen my fleet with some destroyers, which is what I was already planning in the first place. I'm just going to do it in a different system, basically. The raiding fleet that the Garothi sent into the robots after we encouraged them have sent a course back to their home with uh, yeah, okay, they fought them. Good. Okay. 
We are how many years out from declaring war? <laughs> We're still seven years away from declaring war, but softening them up was fun. Jay is celebrating his win against Alex, but space is a treacherous place. There are three guarantees within Stellaris. Death, taxes, space dragons. Good luck. Station under attack. What, what station is under attack? Oh my... Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, ha I have the dragon that is attacking me. <laughs> that's, that's, that's terrible. 